How's it going everyone? Chad from Wonder Spark Puppets and today we're going to be making uh, probably the most simple of puppets. Here it is, the wooden spoon puppet. You've seen this online, everybody does this, but we're going to add a little something onto the traditional DIY wooden spoon puppet that makes it a little bit different than maybe what you've seen. So come on down, here's my materials. You will need a wooden spoon. And you can get these ultra cheap, like a dollar a piece at the dollar store. Uh, you will need some scissors and some kind of either felt or fabric or even tissue paper works. Okay. You will need some strong tape. Uh, mine is pink. <laughs> and you'll also need one pipe cleaner and a piece of cardboard. So. On a traditional uh, wooden spoon puppet, all you really need is the spoon. You draw a face up here and you hold it down here and bam, there it is. Wooden spoon puppet, you're done, right? Can we do better? Yes, we can. We're going to add a body onto this wooden spoon puppet and still make it super simple. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cardboard, put it right down onto your work area, place the wooden spoon on top. Now this wooden spoon has a flat side and a curved side. Figure out which side you want for your puppet. Uh, there's no rules, could be either side. I'm gonna place this wooden spoon right down here and if this is the puppet's face, I want this cardboard to start right at where the neck would be and then go down, a, let's say two inches to form the body. So I'm gonna take my marker and let's see, how wide do I shoulder? Do I want these shoulders to be? I'm gonna say about this wide. Make a line about two inches down. And then make another line that goes across, right? I have drawn like a, a simple wooden or a cardboard square or rectangle. We're gonna double this because we need to wrap it around the wooden spoon. So I'm just gonna eyeball this and say, yeah, it's about double. Okay, and we're gonna cut it out. So, cutting out a piece of cardboard. Remember, we figured out how, how uh, big we wanted the body, and now I'm gonna cut it out. I'm not cutting the middle, where I drew that one line, okay? We're not gonna cut this, we're actually going to fold the middle so that both pieces of this cardboard Go right on top of each other, just like that, okay? Feel free to pause this video if you need more time. So, wooden spoon, boop, goes on top of the cardboard and we fold it over just like we're putting blankets on a bed. There we go. So there it is, there's the body. Now we're going to secure it. Here's the tricky part. <laughs> so, Sometimes when you get a cheap wooden spoon, right, from a dollar store, they actually have um, a coating on it, or it might just be the, the wood, so that uh, sticky tape, especially super sticky tape, check this out, will not stick to it. Doesn't stick <laughs> at all. It sticks to everything else, but it doesn't stick to this uh, wooden spoon that I got very cheaply. So this is what we're gonna do. Uh, the sticky tape, I, I'm using duct tape, does stick to cardboard and it will stick to itself. So here's what we do. First, put the wooden spoon inside the cardboard and we're going to first, we're gonna seal this up. So we're gonna take the duct tape, the sticky tape, and make sure that the wooden spoon can't get out, <laughs> right? So it's not going anywhere, but look, it still wants to move up and down this way. So, like I said, it does want to stick to itself. So we're going to take two more pieces of sticky tape. We're going to make sure that we're on the back now of the wooden spoon. We'll put one piece of tape up here. So I'm, I'm touching the cardboard and up here, it's not going to stick to the wood, don't worry. We're going to take a long strip of sticky tape, just like this, duct tape. And we're going to, starting with the back, place it on the back right here, flip it over, and then take this duct tape and bring it on down 
to the cardboard. Kind of looks like a like a scarf. <laughs> oh, and I'm gonna make sure that this is center. Oh, I got mine off center, so I'm gonna zhuzh it a little bit until it's to the cardboard center again. There we go. All right, looks kind of like a necktie or a scarf. Okay, now the cardboard is secure to the wooden spoon. Ooh, it's still going some way, so I'm just gonna make sure that it's on there a little bit more. Okay, once you have this done, right, we have our shoulders and body. Now we're going to cover it up with some felts or fabric, whatever you got, right? First, I'm going to take my, this is like a scrap piece of felt, right? It really doesn't matter what you use. I'm gonna put it right over top. So I'm putting it right over top of the body that we just put on there, just like that, okay? I'm gonna flip it over, bam And now we're going to fold it once, and then fold it twice, okay? And actually, see how I, I <laughs> see how the neck is not covered? That's not good. We wanna make sure that the felt covers, the neck covers the tape that we just put on, and you will see why. See, so fold it once and fold it twice. You'll see why in a second, okay? Once you've kind of folded that over the neck and body area, we're going to use our pipe cleaner. Take that pipe cleaner, put it right, uh, right in the, where the neck is, okay? Where we made sure to cover with that felt. We're gonna take that pipe cleaner and we're going to, oh man, I need some more felt there. There we go. We're gonna take this pipe cleaner, I'm holding it with two hands right here. We're gonna cross the ends together and pinch it, pinch it really hard right in the middle. And then we're going to twist, twist those two ends of the pipe cleaner three times to make sure that it stays. And I'll just bend these down here for now. But look, if I bring you to the front, dun -dun, now it looks like our Wooden spoon head now has a body. And now they have kind of a costume too. And if you wish, you can take these pipe cleaners in the back and bend them, bend them up a little bit so that our body has two arms. You could add little, little cardboard or felt or fabric hands if you wish. And at this point, at this point, I got a little body, you could, you could draw a face on here. Okay, you could also, if you have more felt or fabric or cardboard, add some hair or add a helmet or something else. If you're gonna add something to the head, add it first before you draw on the face. Face should be the last step, okay? And I have, let's see, yeah, I have another one that I did earlier too. Uh, notice this one that I did earlier, I decided I didn't want the, the round face, so I added a piece of cardboard and I just taped it to itself, basically, to get it to stick on there. All right, and there you have a very simple wooden spoon puppet, but with a body too, okay? I hope you have fun creating your puppet characters. Uh, play with them, see what they can do. They're definitely good Woo! at popping up and coming down and walking around with a little bit of jiggle from your hands. Wee! Mm-hmm. Uh, and usually these kind of cheap wooden spoons come in a five pack, or at least they do uh, in America and in New York State. So you can have a whole cast of characters. All right, uh, have fun with your puppets. Definitely play and create a whole host of puppet characters to put on your own story. My name is Chad from Wonder Spark Puppets, and we'll see you next time. Bye.